They're more like crepes. What? I don't know how to say it in say English. It. Just say it again. Yeah, crepes. crap. <laughs> I mean, crepes are cool. What's up, everyone? This video is going to be part of a series about my experiences living here in Europe, more specifically living in the Netherlands. I hope to give insight to anyone that's thinking about making the move potentially somewhere in Europe. And living here for a little bit over a year now, I've come to know the things that I do and don't like here. One of them happens to be food. To be clear, this isn't a video about actually hating Europe, but more so not liking the accessibility to food that I'm used to having in New York. Some things I crave from New York are either one, impossible to get, difficult to find, or you have to have them sent from the United States. And some things you can't send through the mail to get them here. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about some of the items that I'm missing from back in New York. Number one on my list, Dutch pancakes. Dutch pancakes, to my understanding as an American, aren't quite pancakes. They're more like crepes. What? I don't know how to say it in say English. It. Just say it again. Yeah, crepes. crap. <laughs> I mean, crepes are cool if you want crepes, but if I want pancakes, I'm thinking more like I'm going to IHOP or a local diner and I'm going to get some big, buttery, fluffy, mm, I'm getting hungry thinking about it, pancakes. The syrup here is just bitter. It's almost even hard to put it down. Pancakes plus the syrup? Nah, I'm going to pass. Number two on this list pizza. Being the fact that I'm in Europe, many people would probably argue that the best pizza in the world is likely in Italy. But being the fact that Corona canceled all 2020 plans for us, I'm from New York. And as a New Yorker, there's nothing like New York pizza. The options in the Netherlands are places like New York pizza. No, Domino's. I think Papa John's. And there's also something that you get from what's sort of like a US chicken spot. And you would get something called a Turkish pizza, which isn't even a pizza at all. It's actually more like a burrito with pizza ingredients inside, if that even makes sense. Don't get me wrong. That's actually the only pizza I eat here, but there's nothing like a good old New York pizza. Even our dollar slices can smoke any of the pizzas here. And if you've had a dollar slice, you know that's saying a lot. Third on the list, chopped cheese. Now, a lot of people don't know what a chopped cheese is. A chopped cheese is a type of hood delicacy. The chopped cheese is chopped up hamburger, cheese, American cheese. You also can't get that here. Onions, sometimes peppers if you want, mayo, usually eaten on a roll or a hero, cooked on the grill at your local bodega. There's no such thing here. Then there's the seasoning. To even find the adobo or sazon that usually gets used in these bodegas on our chopped cheeses, good luck. Also not easy to find. The only way to get a chopped cheese here myself is if I make it. And it's still not a chopped cheese because there's no American cheese. Fourth on my list, Spanish food, black food, Jamaican food. I miss it so much. For Spanish food, it's simple. Rice and beans, morir soñando, tres golpes, monfongo. Those are just a handful of the Spanish foods that I've really been missing here, as well as plantanos, tostones, which, yeah, that stuff I can make here, but it's just not the same when you don't have that touch. So even if I made it myself, I wouldn't be satisfied because it's just not as good as someone who's been cooking it their whole life. Black food. We have collard greens, candy yams, baked macaroni and cheese. I probably miss the baked macaroni and cheese the most, but again, we can't get certain kinds of cheeses here. So even when you make it, it's just not the same. Then there's Jamaican food. I grew up in a predominantly Jamaican community uptown in the Bronx. There's literally Jamaican restaurants everywhere. Here, haven't found one yet. I've been dying to eat some oxtails or some curry goat or some mac and cheese or some porridge. So many foods that I just grew up eating and it's like it got ripped away from me. So now I find myself maybe not so much homesick about living in New York versus living here, but I do miss the food a lot. Also, Jamaican beef patties with the cocoa bread when it's fresh out the oven and it's still warm. Ooh, from my final food that I've been really, really missing, especially since it's the holidays right now, eggnog, coquito, and henny coladas. Now, eggnog, you can't find anywhere. You have to make it yourself. Coquito, no one here makes it. I don't even think anyone here knows what it is unless you know someone from America. Henny coladas. Henny coladas is sort of a traditional sort of hood drink. And it's basically just a pina colada 
instead of rum, we add Hennessy because why not? Anything is possible. I was going to end this video there, but I have to touch on tacos. Yes, you can make a good taco here. No, it's not quite the same, but I just wish Europe actually had more of a culture around Mexican foods because tacos, quesadillas, margaritas, they just go together. I mean, every Tuesday is a miniature holiday, Taco Tuesday. When I get back, I'm going to appreciate all this food so much more just because it's been so long since I've had it or even even smelled it. Uh, I think that's it. So that concludes this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see some more content about living in Europe and how I'm adjusting to everything from the food, culture, the language, travel, or anything that directly relates to moving to Europe from the United States. I'm probably going to be covering it in this series. And that's it. I'm out.